Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Sarah Zane episodes, season 2, episodes 3 through 6. That is uh, Day of the Clown and Secrets of the Stalls. So I thought um, both of these episodes were pretty good. I prefer Day of the Clown. Day of the Clown's getting a C. Uh, Secrets of the Stalls getting a C minus. So yeah, I mean, I just kind of grouped these together because I just watched them back to back. Um, no one make two videos, if you guys know what I mean. So, um,. This creepy clown, played by Graham from Doctor Who, <laughs> it, it'll be funny if like this clown came back and nobody acknowledges it. That'd be kind of funny. Anyway, uh, the clown has been stalking these young kids, and only the kids who have this ticket inviting them to a clown museum are getting stalked by the creepy clown, and they're getting mind controlled and stuff. It's very reminiscent of it. In fact, I think it kind of rips off It in a way, like a less dark It. It's like It on something you'd see on Disney Channel. I still enjoyed it, you know? Um, I like how like the stakes were a bit higher because it's like kids getting abducted. Nobody likes that, you know? I like the new girl, Ronnie, a lot. Um, I like her actress. Um, does a great job. But see, definitely like... She looks too old to be a high schooler. Um, I don't know how old the actress is, but she looks like, like at least you know, eight late teens while Clyde and Luke look like the early teens so I don't know what's up with that but um I like her you know Maria looked more like the same age as the other ones for being her first episode she settled into the part very quickly like she did a really good job um I love the relationships she has in these episodes with Luke Clyde and Sarah Jane after a while you you kind of think like oh she's been here the whole time um I do like how the clown points out like you, to Sarah Jane, how she always puts these teenagers in danger. Like, why is Sarah Jane's friend, only friends, like, 15? That's a little weird, isn't it? Um, but yeah. So we see that Sarah Jane had a personal connection to these clowns, because she was afraid of clowns when she was little, because of this creepy little doll her aunt had. And it's like, yeah, you know what? I get it. My grandma had some creepy dolls, too. So, I understand. All in all, really solid episode. I think it's a little convenient that all these kids in 2008 happen to have cell phones though like if that came out now yeah i'd get it but in 2008 i don't know so in the next episode which is secrets of the stalls um sarah jane luke clyde ronnie ronnie's annoying dad ronnie's likable mom attend a show hosted by the psychic and it's like the psychics really have shows like this that's crazy i had no idea the way that the psychic is named martin truman who used to be false man until he opened his blinds and a big comet hit him and possessed him and now he could read everybody's minds and stuff and make them do spooky things so this is originally going to be a sequel to the mask of mandragora which mandragora um which i haven't seen in a while so i can't really say like if it is related to it or not. It's been a while since I've seen it. I have it on Blu-ray, though. Um, I like the guy who played Martin Truman. He was very hammy, which doesn't really fit in most shows, but fits in a show like this, because Sarah Dane Adventures doesn't take itself too seriously. Like, it is a show for children, after all. But like I said, you know, Sarah Dane is really good at um, not talking down to the ch children audience, you know, like some shows do. They treat, like... They don't talk down to them, you know? It'd be fun. So, he's like, You just moved here. You traveled with the doctor. And then we saw a flashback reminding us who the doctor was. Which I was like, yeah, I think most people watching the show know who the doctor is. Um, so basically, at the end, uh, they're able to stop him. And he's like, they're like, come on, you could get snapped out of this. And he's like, nah, I just want to go to the stalls. You know, I've never been important. And they're like, okay, I guess you're going to die or whatever. And that's the end. <laughs> Finn is great. The kids do great. But overall, it's kind of not the most engaging story. Like, I completely tuned out halfway through. And I don't usually do that with TV. But it was just like kind of one of the mill television now. Not bad. Not good. It's kind of, you know, milk toast TV. So I'm gonna give the I'm gonna give the Secrets of the Stalls a C minus. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. What do you think of Ronnie? Do you think he's better written than Maria? I can't really say for sure yet because I've only seen him for four episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, peace.